Hey guys, good morning from beautiful Southern Nevada. Hey, you know, if you own a 38 Special or a 357 Magnum, man, you know ammo has been extremely hard to find over the last couple of years due to the pandemic and supply and demand and all that good stuff. So anyways, I was in my local gun shop the other day and guess what they had? 38 Special ammo. So I picked up a couple boxes just to do a review on and Ammo Incorporated. I've never used this brand before, so again, I just picked up two boxes. You know, I could have bought 500 rounds of this if I wanted to, but I didn't, and let me tell you why. I've got a buddy that has a Sky Pistol, a little 9mm, and just before the pandemic, he come across some Winchester ammo, so bam, he bought 10 boxes of it. It was Winchester Forged Ammo, which uses a steel case. Well, guess what? He found out very quickly that his sky pistol does not like steel cased ammo so he was stuck with 10 boxes this is why i buy two boxes of anything for the first time i try it if it works great if not then i'm not stuck with a bunch of ammo so what we're going to do right now going to go back in my shop we'll take a look at the box we'll take a look at the ammo we'll take a look at the four revolvers i'm going to shoot today and then we'll come back out here and start shooting Ammo Incorporated. So let's take a look at the box before we open it up. And I'll tell you what, I like this right here. Made in USA. Alright, so we have 38 Special 125 grain TMC. Total metal coating. And we will take a look at the bullets here in a few minutes. And let's see, Hyper Clean Technology. Shoot more, clean less. Manufactured with match grade technology and ultimate accuracy. And let's take a look at the bottom here. And Scottsdale, Arizona. And here's the website right here. And let's take a look at the ballistics. Muzzle velocity 947 feet per second. And we will be checking that on the range today. Let's open this up and take a look at the ammo. All right, let's pop this open. And of course, 50 round boxes. I've got two of them. Let's pull out a case here and take a look at it. All right, see so if we can get this to focus. All right, so we have a brass case, which is nice. I'm glad it's not steel. And it's got a simple copper plated lead bullet. Nothing fancy there, but let's take a look here at the uh, the head of the case. Ammo Inc. 38 Special. All right. So you know what? Let's take a look at the uh, revolvers we're going to shoot today, and then uh, we'll get out to the range and do some shooting. Revolver number one. Look at this. This is a Ruger SP-101 chambered in. 357 Magnum. Now you can shoot um, 38 Special and a 357 Magnum. Little two inch five shot snub nose. This is one of my favorite revolvers. I have a Smith & Wesson model 642 two inch barrel. Actually I think it's inch and seven eighths five shot. Double action only. You can see this one has an internal hammer and I also have a Ruger GP100 4 inch and this one holds six rounds I've had this about six months I picked it up used excellent revolver um, can't wait to put a few rounds through it and you know what if I have enough ammo or enough time we might put some rounds through this Smith & Wesson model 60 357 Magnum Look at this little beauty, huh? Another little five shot snub nose. So, you know what? Let's get out to the range and do some shooting. All right, got my earplugs in, have a target set up at seven yards. I've got five rounds in my Ruger SP-101. I just kind of want to check recoil and see where this is hitting, just to kind of get the fill of the ammo 
Five rounds. Shooting a little low. I'm going to try five rounds double action. Yeah, shot those okay. And I do reload, by the way, so definitely going to save uh, this brass and. Uh, it is reloadable for all you reloaders out there. Okay, next I'm going to shoot my little Smith & Wesson 642. As you know, this is double action only. So five rounds at five yards. And I got to tell you, this has a little bit of a kick to it. That ammo does, so it's definitely not uh, wimpy ammo. I like that. Okay, I put up a different target. This time I'm going to be shooting my Smith & Wesson Model 60. I forgot. Five rounds. Son of a <laughs> Let's do that again. Okay, time to check speed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fire three rounds out of my two inch Ruger SP 101, then I'm going to fire three rounds out of my four inch GP 100. And I have my chronograph hooked up to my phone so I can read the feet per second. And this is actually rated at 947 feet per second, so let's see uh, how close we come to that. Two inch. 861. 862. 862. Wow. Talk about consistent. Four inch. 975 961 940 What the heck? One more round. Oh, that's an empty case. 938 don't know if you can see that, but I can. Alright, let's test accuracy with my GP100. Got a still plate out there. Let's see if I can uh, put a few rounds on it. Oop. This shooting a little high.
Yeah, all around are right here, right in the chin, neck area. So I'll need to drop that sight down just a little bit and they would probably be dead on. Alright, I brought the rear sight down a couple clicks. Let's try three more rounds. Oh yeah, that's much better. Alright guys, I'm going to hang it up. It's getting pretty hot out here. but So what do I think of this ammo? You know what? I like it. It shot great. It was 100% reliable, accurate, nothing not to like with it. Um, so the question is, would I buy 500 rounds if I needed it? Oh, absolutely. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. And uh, if I can find some more of this ammo in a different caliber, I will pick some up, come out here and do another review. But in the meantime, thanks and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah.